Halo, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back in the science class. In the previous meeting, we have learned about our skeleton, and today the topic is why do we need the skeleton? Now, can you imagine how if the human have no skeleton? Can you stand up? Can you walk? Can you swim? Can you run? And can you do the other activity? If we have no skeleton, your body will be like a worm. You cannot stand up well and you cannot walk perfectly like now. So, why do we need the skeleton? We need the skeleton to support our body and give us shape. Jadi, mengapa kita membutuhkan rangka? Kita membutuhkan rangka agar bisa menopang tubuh kita dan memberikan bentuk ke tubuh kita. The skeleton also protect our important organs. For example, the skull keep our brain. The ribs and the breastbone keep our heart, our lung, and our liver. Our skeleton consists of many bones. Each bone has different size and different shape. There are three shapes of bones. A long bone, flat bone, and irregular bones. The example of long bone are upper arm bone or humerus, forearm bone, or radius and ulna thigh bone and shine bone the example of flat bone are shoulder blade shoulder blade is flat and then ribs the ribs is flat bone and then the skull why the skull is flat because the skull consists of many bones and each bone are flat. Ya, jadi tengkorak ini juga termasuk ke dalam tulang pipi. Kenapa? Karena tengkorak itu tersusun atas banyak tulang pipi. The example of irregular bones is spine bone. Spine bones have irregular shape And then the word bone Tulang pergelangan tangan Atau tulang telapak tangan Now we are going to make an experiment How to measure the bone Prepare your worksheet Prepare your ruler Prepare your pen And Prepare your marker. We are going to measure your bone, your sister bone, and your father or your mother bone. Are you ready? Let's take it out. We are going to measure two bones. It's upper arm bone or humerus and then thigh bone or femur. Kita akan mengukur dua tulang Tulang lengan atas dan tulang paha The first step, put the nail scale on the bone base Letakkan skala 0 pada pangkal tulang This is nail and I put in the bone base and then look at the scale on the bone end. Kemudian lihat skala pada ujung tulang. The scale is 14. So we can say that the length of this bone is 14 centimeters. Do the same way in the thigh bone. Put 
the nail scale on the bone base and then look the scale on the bone's end the scale is 21 centimeters so we can say that the length of tight bone is 21 centimeters do the same way to measure your sister or brother bones and your parent bones and then write your result on this table and don't forget to draw your chart here now time to report your experiment for example you are 10 years old so you have to write 10 here and then your brother is 18 years old your parents 50 years old now how the length of the humerus you have 14 centimeters your brother are 22 centimeters your parents 20 centimeters how the length of thigh bone you have 21 centimeters your brother has 35 centimeters and your parents have 32 now we are going to make a bar chart that's this data this side for humerus and this side for femur write me a brother parents write me brother and parents me humerus 14 you have 14 centimeters of upper arm bone or humerus so you have to make a bar at the 14 kalian buat diagramnya 14 cm then your brother your brother is 22 cm of humerus so draw 22 your parents have 20 centimeters of humerus so draw 20 centimeters you can use different color do the same way for femur bonds lakukan hal yang sama untuk tulang paha okay student based on our experiment we know that you have different lengths of bone with your brother or sister and your parents it indicates that the bones can grow up from younger until the elder dari percobaan Kalian mengetahui bahwa kalian memiliki panjang tulang yang berbeda dengan saudara kalian dan juga orang tua kalian. Itu menandakan bahwa tulang dapat bertumbuh. Thank you so much for joining this meeting. See you next time and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Goodbye.